Sandy here from Lab41.com, back with Rocket God's Advanced Guide to the Arc RF1. Today he'll cover everything from tracking aircraft to some Python scripting. Have a good one! Alright, now on to our next trick. I'm going to show you how to do Dragon OS, which is an operating system for SDR fun stuff. So I'm going to do it in a virtual box using a VM. And you can do it this way, or you can actually install it and have a Linux operating system with Dragon OS, which is basically just somebody has curated all their favorite SDR software and put it together for you. Um, my setup here is not so good for doing that right now. So I'm just going to do it in a virtual box and use that as a little window to pop in right here. Um, so to do this, you're going to go to let's zoom this a bit. Sourceforge.net slash projects slash dragon OS dash focal and download the ISO. Um, I'm going to do that right now and I'll get back to you. Okay, we're here on my computer now. Here I am. Hello again. And let's turn on our window for VirtualBox, which is software by Oracle, which creates a virtual machine on your computer so you can run different operating systems. We are going to add, I've downloaded the Dragon OS ISO from SourceForge. We're going to add a machine. Well, actually, we're not. We're going to make a new one. We'll call it Dragon OS, and we'll go ahead and select an ISO. Other it's going to be in downloads. Dragon OS right here. And not much that we need to do. Um, just in case, I'll bump this up, give it four cores. Okay, that should be enough for what we're doing. This is all fine here. And finish. Then we'll start it. Now this one is a live boot. Um, we're just going to basically run an operating system right out of here as if we're booting into the computer and this was already on there. Um, some of them, like Windows, you have to actually install. So you'll have the ISO go in, and then you'll install from the ISO, just like you were putting a CD in the optical drive, and then it should go ahead and install a new uh, operating system right there. And then you just pop out your optical drive, and it's ready to go. Okay, so now it's done. Let me add the new window to virtual or to OSB. New capture Dragon OS. Okay. Now let's make this bigger for you to see. Okay. And it's way over here. All right. Get this. And let's get started. All right, I adjusted the settings so it's easier to view for you guys. Um, let's take a look at some of the things that this OS has pre-built. So things are in weird places. Um, I don't know why this is here. I don't know why Flipper is here. And there's QFlipper also in education. Ham Radio has a bunch of stuff that we might want to use. SDR++ is probably, probably doesn't belong in here. Um, you know, these things you can use for Ham Radio, but Maybe this just should be renamed, I guess. You can see everything's already in here. It's already been pre-installed. 
Hopefully the bugs have been kinked out. And here that is one more time. Um, Other has a lot of good stuff. Now, there's no way we're going to get through all this stuff. There's no way that I've even tried all this stuff. But let's take a look at some of the fun things that I have tried. Now, just like before, we have easy options for FM radio or AM radio or whatever you want to do. Go to put it in ham radio, but cubic SDR. Pack RF1 is popping up. And right off the bat, you can see that there's some signals coming in. And there you go, radio. You can play with this just like. Just like the other ones, it's the same thing. So just either manually put in your frequency or you can choose it based on this and that's it. But let's do some more fun stuff because we've already done this. So now let's play with SDR trunk. This is some software that'll turn your HackRF into a police scanner. Uh, you can use it on Linux or Windows. Um, you saw it on Dragon OS but I'm going to use it on Windows right now because it's easier for me to stream to you. Let's open up SDR trunk. And when you pop it up, it's going to ask you to calibrate, I think 18 things or something like that. Just go ahead and let it do it. I don't know exactly what it's doing, but calibration always sounds good. Now that you have this open, you're going to want to open this up. You're going to want to open up your playlist editor. And after you open up your playlist editor, let's see, let me pop it open for you. There you go. And let's get into there. Now, I highly recommend going into radio reference signing up the paid subscription is worth it um it gives you you can put in your country state and county does pretty much any county in any state that you want go to los angeles you can pick different systems for county i mean there's a lot of stuff in here then you would just click it, it tells you what it's encoded in. Some stuff it even does project 25, which is P25. You'll see um, a lot of police departments going to that. This will let you listen to that. I've gone ahead and put in, where is it? Channels. I'll put in some of my own stuff here. And let's go see if we can have a listen. Let's try the sheriff department. works but you know lots of fun stuff it's just like any other scanner and you can make your playlist make everything nice and easy for you on your local stuff Red Cross Coast Guard Railroads, public safety, secret service. Uh, that would be fun if you lived near uh, the White House or something. But uh, yeah, so that's SDR trunk. Uh, let's see what else we could find. Now I wanna show you SDR Angel. This software is great. It's taken me three weekends of trying to figure out the best way to pull in ADS-B signals, which is basically the, the signals that come off a 
uh, airplane's transponder and it tells you exactly what plane it is. Um, it tells you the call sign, the aircraft, the airline, the country, the, the altitude, the speed, the azimuth, the emergency status, the squawk, the manufacturer, the owner, the operator. I mean, anything you could think of, this thing is going to tell you. So what we're doing is we're taking the signals at 1,090 megahertz and we're pulling that in. We're decoding it from ADS-B into something that we can actually visualize here. So this software is great. It, it shows you the a photo of the aircraft, or not the aircraft, but what it would look like. It tells you the owner and the operator. Um, all this data constantly streaming through. It's showing you on this map exactly the location and the flight path of the aircraft. Um, you can see I'm using a dipole antenna, just like the bunny rabbit ears off an old TV, and I'm inside a garage. I'm That's why you have this fancy little background here. I'm inside a garage, not, not an outdoor antenna. It's just sitting right here on top of my uh, slot machine. <laughs> And this is how much data it's pulling in and the, the range that it's pulling. This is probably this is probably a 50 mile to 75 mile radius. And that's decent. I mean, if this thing was if the antenna was on top of my roof there, I would have probably double. It would probably come in all this all right here, all that. Um, but I don't. So this is still fun and I can track it. Um, so when you get into the software, you want to download the Open Sky Network aircraft database. You want to download the Our Airports airport databases. And you want to also download the NavAid and Open AIP databases, which is going to be, it's going to look empty until you do all that. And then these photos will, um, they'll generate and the, Aircraft will come in. It matches everything up for you. Some other things that the software can do is you can send it out here as a feed to different clients. You can add notifications, um, voice notifications, actually. So let's do one for just the aircraft. So it'll tell us when a new aircraft is found. <laughs> well, I'll move on while it's doing that. You can send it to a log. You can start it here. You can tell it the name to to make it right here for a CSV file. I have a script I made in Python that sends new lines from the CSV file as a webhook to a Discord server's channel. And so in my channel, it's telling me basically what you're seeing here simplified and telling me a new aircraft has been detected. A new aircraft has been detected. Um, let me go check on this notifications here. Yeah, so aircraft, let's see, not happening yet, but maybe there's no new aircrafts. And you can pick any of these, you can show it on the map. ERJ-100 at AG-5B detected. Detected. Scare your wife in the garage when she walks in and your computer is calling out in a man's voice what aircrafts are in the sky. It's fun. Uh, 172's detected. Yeah, as long as they're all American. No, they're not. Sometimes they come from other countries. But, you know, as long as they're friendly, we're all good. Um, let me turn off the notifications. But so, yeah, that is SDR Angel. You can also pull in radio sun. Um, weather balloons. You can track weather balloons. You can... Do a lot of other fun stuff. Highly recommend this for Windows. And um, I'm going to actually dig into it a little bit more and see if I can find some more fun stuff to show you. That wraps up another informative session about the Arcar F1. To purchase the Arcar F1 yourself, head over lab41.com where you get the best price and the best service. And of course, catch up with the rest of this video series with Rocket God. Got a question or want to share your own Arcar F projects? drop a comment below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Take care.
and see you next time.